Go. Good morning. My name is Brian Williams. I've been in the clothing industry for about 15 years. I've worked at Kmart, JCPenney, and now I'm currently at Kohl's. I work in the men's department, helping to keep current on the trends and the way the fashion department's going in the men's line. 1988, I went to the prom. No, that's not me, but I did wear something along that lines. I remember going to the tuxedo place and trying on tuxes. Not a very good experience. I had to take the tux back three or four times to get the right fit. In order for a business to move forward, they have to keep up with the current trends and what's happening. An organization must review its history and ideas challenges. One of the challenges that the men's area was facing, they didn't have anything that was personalized for just men. Everything was geared towards the women and the men always happened to be just in the back. A company has to go through and review what's happening in the industry and their company, look at their history, ID some of the challenges that they're facing to try to move forward and be current. Once you have gone through the alternatives, select a solution and go on from there and review them. In order to do that, you have to have people that are looking at the trends and paying attention to what's happening. In order to stay relevant, a company has to keep moving forward. You can't stay stagnant with the way things are happening. And that was happening with the men's line. Men's Warehouse started in 1973 by Mr. George Zimmer. He saw a need to personalize the experience for men. He started by selling slacks and sport coats out of his trunk. He remembers using a cigar box to hold that money in. He started in Houston, worked up to about 12 stores, and was started doing very well. 1975, he had his first commercial. That commercial wasn't very good. He saw a need to improve that. 1980s was a good decade for him. He was able to see expansion and move to the West Coast. San Francisco was the first location. He updated his commercial and came up with the tagline, I guarantee it. Most of you have seen those commercials and have seen Mr. George Zimmer. In the 1990s, more expansion. He moved from San Francisco, San Francisco to LA and also New York. So now he had the East Coast and the West Coast and still had stores in Houston. He would expanded a couple stores in Houston, so he's up to 15 at this point. He still hadn't hit Dallas. That's happening in 2000. Also in the 90s, he purchased a Canadian company, expanded even further, moving north. He also added the ta tagline, you're going to like the way that you look. He added that to I guarantee it. That became part of his tagline in his commercials. 2000s, he purchased a couple more clothing lines. K&G and Touch Hill. These companies expanded him even further. At this point, he had reached over 1,200 stores. Sorry about that. 2010, he had purchased Joseph Abode and Joe's A Bank. He also hits Puerto Rico, making him a global powerhouse. Joseph Abode was a fashion retailer that wasn't doing quite so well. Mr. Zimmer saw that he could improve that company by having them sell their clothing line at his stores. Jose Bank was also a uh, fashion, a fashion, uh, stop. 